episode today, I wanna to talk a little bit about reading. Now, a phrase a lot of people like to throw around is, you are the sum of the top five people you hang out with and the last five books that you've read. <sighs> That's kind of an exhaustive you know, list for a lot of people. A lot of people are massive, massive readers. And they're like, well, you know, I didn't just read five books. I've read 30 books this year, 20 books this year, or 100 books this year. Whereas others are incredibly high-performing entrepreneurs who take that readers are leaders and those top five books that you've read or who you are as a person and throw that crap right out the window. They never read and yet they perform above everyone else's expectations of what they can and should be doing in the business marketplace in general. So how is it that these people who aren't quote unquote reading are able to perform at such a high level? It's because they understand the concept. It's not always just about reading books. Sometimes it's about reading people. Sometimes it's about reading the person that's across the table from you in a negotiation. Sometimes it's about reading your family and understanding that right now, it's a time to take a break. Right now, I need to take a vacation. I need to take some time away. It's about reading yourself, understanding your own motivations, your own goals, where you are as a person. What I wanna to talk to you about today is this idea of taking the passivity of your life out of it Understanding that you're always needing to be reading situations. Figure out what it is that really jives with your DNA. One of my favorite entrepreneurs is Gary Vaynerchuk, and he talks about the importance of working your DNA and how he doesn't read at all. But he constantly talks about the importance of your EQ, your emotional intelligence. He's always reading people. When they ask him a question, what he's really trying to do is read what's behind the question so he can actually answer what they're asking. So remember, it's not always about the books you're reading. It's about the people you're reading, your family, what you're reading from them, what you're reading from yourself. Take that passive life that you're leading and get active. I give you 97, let me go for the penny. Yeah. I swear to God, I'll bring the two cents back to you tomorrow.